Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today I want to talk about risk. R I S K S. The biggest risk in my view is taking no risk. The world itself is changing and is changing at a fast rate. And for us to grow and to be able to achieve what we want to achieve, we need to take risk. Take risk in where we live, take risk with who we partner with, take risk which company we associate ourselves with. It's all about evaluating the uh, risk, planning for it, acquiring the uh, required skills and competencies, and move on. Take that first step, get started, and take that leap of faith to move forward, to achieve the dreams that we have, to achieve the aspirations that we have. See, life is not about a safe journey from cradle to grave. Even when we, you look at children, you look at babies who start to learn about life, about climbing steps, stairs, and they explore, and they become curious, and they explore, and they take risks climbing that stairs. They fall down, they learn from it, they get better at it. It was a very basic fundamental thing that we can observe around us. But as we go older in life, there are more lessons that we can learn from other people's successes and failures. We can avoid those failing failure traps by learning from others, but we need to move. We need to get out of our comfort zone. We need to take that steps to say, okay, this is what I want to achieve in life and this is what I need to do. These are the risks that I may face, but I'm prepared for it. I prepare as much as I can in terms of taking that risk. Taking risk is not about gambling. You don't throw caution to the wind. That is not the type of taking risk that I'm talking about. Taking risk that I'm talking about is knowing what we want, making an assessment of all the assumptions that can go wrong and therefore having preparations in terms of skills, in terms of whatever is required for us to minimize the chance of failing in, in, our, in our journey to pursue what we want to, to achieve. You see, more people after retirement, for example, or when they are already not able to move due to ill health, more people ask the questions of what if I have made that decision? What if I have taken that action? Those are the regrets type of questions because when they were able to take those actions and decisions, they didn't. They played it safe. So think about it. What are the things that you want in life? What are the risks that you're prepared to, to take? And prepare yourself to be as successful as you can in moving forward, but take that risk, inshallah.